Hey everybody, welcome back to the official Warp YouTube channel where we talk about everything there is to know about Warp and the terminal, whether you're new to tech or you already consider yourself a power user in the command line. Today, I'm going to be writing a script that automatically searches and deletes all the unused screenshots in my documents folder. By the end of this video, you should know how to use Warp's cool AI features along with our integration with ChatGPT to write scripts for yourself so that you can set up customized automations in your own life. Let's get started. All right, so how do we get started here. I'm not super comfortable writing scripts from start, but the good news is that with warp I really don't have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control space and it's going to open up warp AI, which is a chat GPT integration with warp. Then I'm going to ask it a question like write me a script that deletes all screenshots from my documents directory. Okay, cool. So basically it gives me this script and it tells me to save the script as a file with a .sh extension and make it executable by running this command. And then I can run it by running this command. Okay, so following these commands, I'm going to create a file by running vi and I'm gonna name it delete underscore screenshots. And it says I need to save it with a .sh extension. So I'm gonna say .sh. Now that I'm in editing mode in Vim, I'm going to use this button to copy the script that Warp AI gave me and then paste it in right here. Then I'm going to press escape colon WQ, which is going to write and save and quit out of my file. Then Warp AI tells me I need to make this script executable by running this command. So I'm going to type that in chmod. Boom. And then the final thing I need to do is I can run the script by typing dot slash delete screenshots.sh. So before doing that, let's actually take a look at what screenshots I have in my documents directory currently. If I press LS, then I can see that I have one, two, three, four screenshots currently in my documents directory. So ideally, if I run dot slash delete screenshots.sh and run LS again, I should not see these screenshots because it should have deleted them. So let's see if that works. I'm going to run this script and then I'm going to press LS again. And unfortunately, I still see these four screenshots here in my documents directory. So let's open up my delete screenshots script and see what might be going on. So just by looking at the script, it seems like it's CDing into my documents directory and then removing anything called screenshot.png. Now, if I look at the actual names of my screenshots, it seems to be screen space shot. And that's maybe why the script is not finding the correct files to delete. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back into Warp AI and ask, can you edit this script above to delete anything with file name that includes screen space shot and is case insensitive. Okay, awesome. So now that I'm doing a second iteration, Warp AI has now given me this script, which I'm going to copy and then kind of go back and do exactly what I did before. I'm going to delete what I currently have in this file and paste the new iteration. Now looking at these instructions, it doesn't seem like I need to do them again, but I do want to ask about this chmod uh, command because I'm not sure if I need to run it again. So I'm going to ask Warp AI, do I have to run chmod plus x command every time I edit the .sh file? No, you only need to run this once to make the script executable. After that, you can edit the script as many times as you want without needing to run it again. Okay, so from this answer, it seems like I can just write and quit out of this file and just run it with no extra steps. So now that I've updated my script, I'm going to try the same thing that I did before. So again, if I run ls, you'll see I still have my four screenshots here and I'm going to run dot slash delete screenshots dot sh and then press ls again to see if my screenshots have been deleted. Okay, awesome. So now I've run ls again and you'll see that the screenshots that I saw here do not exist anymore, which means that they've been deleted by the script. So the base functionality of my script has now been created. Now let's do some things to make it a little bit better. The first thing that I want to do is to confirm that it actually deleted what I wanted it to delete, I want the script to print out the names of all the screenshots it deleted. So I'm going to go back into Warp AI and ask, can you edit this script above to output the names of all the screenshots it deleted uh, each on their own line? 
Okay, awesome. So it spit out another script for me to copy. So I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard, go into my script, delete what I currently have and paste in this new script here. Now I'm gonna have to take some screenshots because it deleted all my previous ones. So I'm just going to quickly take uh, four screenshots. And just to prove that they exist, I'm going to type in ls and see one, two, three, four new screenshots have been created. Now I'm gonna run delete screenshots again. And you'll see that now when it runs, the script outputs the names of the four screenshots it deleted. Now from here, there are a few things that you can do. One thing that I have personally done is I have created an alias. So if we go into my .zshrc file, you'll see I've created an alias where I just have to type in the word delete ss, ss standing for screenshot, and it will run this script for me. So with this alias, I can delete all my screenshots from the command line really easily. And that is it, everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel if you want more educational content on the terminal and warp in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.